In today's video, I am focusing on cleaning zone two of my home. Um, for those of you who don't know, I divided my home into five different zones and I focus on cleaning one zone per day during the work week. This helps me to avoid cleaning burnout and allows me to have a clean home when I reach the weekend. A zone two in my home consists of the dining area, which you see here, that little hallway coming out of the master suite, and the living room and a small closet off of the kitchen, which is called a stuff of life room, all of which you'll see in this video. I uh, cleaned zone one in my previous video, so if you haven't seen it and you're interested in my tips and tricks, please check that video out. been neglecting cleaning for the past month probably because I just had to prioritize other things so this deep clean was definitely needed there was so much glue stick glue stuck on these chairs it wasn't even funny from my son but that's okay um, I have wiped down this table it's good and clean I'm putting the chairs up because of course that makes sweeping and mopping easier and then I'm gonna move on to the sliding glass doors, which, oh my goodness. Um, when I was cleaning a lot more frequently, the outside of these sliding glass doors wasn't so bad, but let me just tell you, you're not gonna be able to see it because obviously the camera is too far away, but there was like, it was just dirty, y'all. <laughs> just touched on this but I never had to scrub these sliding glass doors like this um, so what I think it was was water spots from all the rain but it also kind of cooked on for lack of a better word the pollen so I'm just wiping off those dots here and also when you see me kind of patting down the um, screen doors that's just getting any of the excess pollen that kind of built up on the doors off and it all looks nice and fresh and clean um, by the time I'm done If you've watched my videos before, then you know that likely the number one thing I can't stand is the sheet of dust that lands on everything, no matter how frequently you dust. Um, even though I wasn't deep cleaning my home, I was still dusting because we did have company and um, these shelves in the living room um, they kind of draw attention, so I didn't want a sheet of dust over anything. Nonetheless, I still dusted because the dust, of course, accumulated again. And I always love to show me dusting because I really think it's one thing that you can do to always have your house looking and feeling clean. It's good for the air, everything, and that's to dust. And not just like a quick little swipe over 
you wipe the shelf up, you put the item back, you wipe the item down and make sure that there is no dust particles. Another thing I like to do is dust off larger surfaces that I'm going to clean, um, especially things like TVs and mirrors. Um, the reason I do that is because if you just spray a towel and then start wiping the surface, you're just going to be pushing dust around. So I like to dust first and on the TV I use this I think it's called Miracle Spray right now. It's just something I picked up from Home Goods that's supposed to be good for electronics. I'm pretty sure there's all types of stuff on the market. I'm not really loyal to this one. I would pretty much try anything. But I would say this one works pretty well at um, getting fingerprints off and it's streak free. And now to my beloved couch. I need you to know that it took everything for me and my husband to not clean up those goldfish. We just thought it would be nice to like have it like a mess actually to clean because normally we clean big messes and spills as they happen, but we knew that I would be filming this today, so whatever. I picked up those, <laughs> those goldfish and then I decided to vacuum down everything because of course the kids are eating dry snacks, we're eating dry snacks, there's inevitably going to be crumbs. Now these um, cushions, they do have slip covers and I have a slip cover video that I did recently where I washed all the slip covers in my home so the slip covers are doing fine they they didn't really need anything more than a vacuum and if you see me like picking things off it's because all of the cushions are down and sometimes the feathers you know are poking out so whenever that's happening i just pull them out and throw them on the floor and vacuum them up because they're an eyesore vacuuming so you know the end of the video is near but please don't go yet because I actually do have something special that I want to show you actually two special things that I haven't done before I'm gonna move the couch and actually show it to you and you'll get to see the treasure trove of goodies that I find under there but I'm also going to pull out a corded vacuum and clean the um, thing that the sliding glass door glides on and I think it's pretty cool what it picks up and I think it's a great idea if you haven't cleaned yours so stay tuned FYI, this is why I don't have a rug. Um, it would be so much to do, especially with the amount that I clean to have to roll up an area rug. Even though I do like the way area rugs look aesthetically, um, 
I don't know. I just don't know if I can do it. I just don't feel like I'd be able to clean the way that I like to clean. And also, look at this home goods find. I found these Lego things. Of course, you can get them anywhere, but they're cheaper in home goods. And it's like the perfect place to store our kids' Legos. So good. So here it is, we had to pull out Old Faithful because one thing I don't do is bend over to clean anything. And with the Dyson cordless vac, when you put this very same attachment on, you have to bend over to reach obviously lower spots and I, mama can't do that. But anyways, look at how good, look, it fits like within each little compartment perfectly. Yes, this was the first time I did this. This area was chock full of kinetic sand. Um, I don't know if you could see any of that pink before I sucked it up, but I think this is such a great idea for this area. I was thinking that I would maybe like scrub it down with some Dawn Power Wash, but I just figured that would be doing too much since technically half of that area is outside. But anyways, I'm mopping. So we really have come to the end of this. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Please check out me cleaning zone one and also please believe that the next video will be me cleaning zone three. I hope to see you there. Please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time.